Every day, building materials evolve to adapt to the needs and preferences of users. One such example is that of porcelain plates used for cladding, facades and building surfaces in general. To be able to work with these new porcelain materials, it's necessary to use machines developed especially for them. For this purpose, SEMA is pleased to introduce the new Keramax, a specialised large format porcelain cutter. Easy setup. Remove the packaging and place the machine on the working surface. This surface must be stable and flat. Then unfold the legs, securing them with the locking handle. Place the bridge in an upright position and fasten it firmly in this position. Make sure that the machine is perfectly levelled and firm. Whilst the structural aluminium chassis is extremely rigid and prevents torsions caused by irregularities in the terrain, it is important to place the machine in the best possible position. Use the telescopic legs to ensure that the table surface is completely horizontal. Connect the machine to a power supply suitable for the machine motor. The Keramax provides a cutting length of up to 1,300mm. In addition, it is equipped with folding arms that once extended support large porcelain slabs. Use the treadmills to fix the porcelain or to set a limit. In addition, you can use the set of adjustable tweezers to fix the tile by immobilising it during cutting. These elements are of vital importance, especially in 45 degree bevel cuts. Use the buffer rule for the perfect placement of the slab. The steel surface of the table allows the slab to be moved easily into place. The novel adjustable cooling system allows water to be directed to the desired area. Whilst the Keramax is delivered with a porcelain blade, please bear in mind that each porcelain has a characteristic composition and hardness so that the disc may be suitable for some materials and not others. Make sure you are using the blade that best cuts the specific material you are working on. Tips for cutting and blade sharpening. The speed of cutting will depend on the hardness of the material to cut and the blade cutting power. Very hard porcelain tiles cause the gradual loss of the blade cutting power, which often leads to the cut being deflected. Do not wait for the cut to start deflecting before sharpening the blade. Sharpen the blade every 10 linear metres of porcelain cut. To sharpen the blades, just make several cuts on brick. The machine is equipped with a 1.5 kilowatt motor. Bear in mind that in order to make a better cut, it's important not to force the progress of the blade at the risk that the cut ends up crooked. It's necessary to advance slowly, verifying at all times that the disc cuts without being forced. If the disc gets too hot, reduce the feed rate. To bevel cut, release the levers on both sides of the bridge and tilt it to the desired angle, locking it again in that position using the levers again. The Keramax mounts a 250mm diameter diamond blade, which provides a cutting depth of up to 5cm, or 4cm on bevel cuts. Before performing any maintenance operation, disconnect the machine from the power supply. To extend the duration of your Keramax, clean it after the working day, removing the dirty water and spraying clean water on the tank and the pump until they are clean. To protect the pump, make sure the water is not too dirty or that it leaves an excess amount of solid waste in the water basin. If possible, try to keep the machine in a dry place, protected from the weather, especially if it's going to remain unused for some time. To change the blade, release the screws of the blade guard and remove it. Then turn the nut that holds the disc while immobilising it with a pin through the hole in the shaft. Then remove the blade and replace it with another, reversing the previous steps to reassemble the protection. If you want more information, contact your regular distributor or visit 
www.cmasa.com.